Hi there, I'm Estelle Matthews. Welcome to my 10-minute exercise program. Today we're going to focus on stretch and tone. Just 10 minutes of pure stretch and tone, working to start with standing, and then we go onto the floor for stretches and more toning of the leg area. Okay, so first of all, just keep your feet parallel, weight equally on both feet, and you don't need shoes for this section. In fact, it helps to be able to feel the toes. Right, so hands by the side of your body. You move the right foot forward, stretch those toes along the floor, point, and pull them back in. It's a feeling of resistance, especially on the way back in. This comes from ballet exercise, and it really works from toe right up to the top of the thigh. Good. And the next one is going to be a lift with a flexed foot and a point, touch the floor, pull in. Still with that dragging feeling on the way back so that you're working and contracting those muscles. Try it again. Flex, point, and once more on both sides. Flex the foot, point, good. Finally, flex and point. Back to the first leg. You're lifting up and pull up into a leg extension. Lift and lower. So your foot stays flexed. If you're finding balance a problem, you can grab a chair, grab a partner. You're really tightening the muscles in the quadriceps. This can be done as slowly as you like. A really controlled exercise that sculpts those legs. One more, hold it up. You really don't need to lift your leg very high. Relax the rest of your body. And let's try it on the other side. If you do wobble around a bit, it is worth just grabbing onto something. You're still isolating and working that leg. Okay, flex the foot, lift, and down. If you've ever had a knee or leg injury, this is a very good way to build up the muscles in the quadriceps again. And of course, if you've been away from exercise for some time, you will need to get the strength back into those quads, and this is a brilliant way to do it. In fact, you can even do it sitting down. Once more, hold it up there. Good. Point it out. Lower it. Bend the knees. Take the hands down the knees and around your back. Chin to the chest. Hold that stretch. You feel it stretches right the way through the back. Into the shoulders. And the abdominal muscles are contracted. Good. Coming up and release. After those quadricep exercises, you need to stretch out the quads, lift the heel into the bottom, bend the supporting knee, take the arm out to the side for balance, and once more, you can hold a piece of furniture or a partner to help you with that balance. And to the other side, there you go. Take your time. It doesn't need to be done to any set beat. You don't even need to put any music on. to work a deeper stretch now. If you step forward on your right foot, left leg behind you, hands down with that front foot, you're going to stretch out the leg behind you, aiming to push that back heel in towards the floor. It won't go, it won't get there. That's the feeling, a stretched leg. Hold it there. Now, important not to bunch up in the upper body here. Relax the body, shoulders dropped, and the elbows should remain slightly soft. And then you can deepen the stretch further by taking the knee down gently to the floor. Don't let the knee touch the floor if you haven't got some support there. You need either a towel or a mat or some carpet. So feel very comfortable here. Then let that toe, let the toes come out and point the foot, keeping the majority of the weight going forward. And you'll feel a deep stretch here in that hamstring and you'll feel it all the way down the extended quadricep. Feel that all right? 
good. And pull back in. You come back up. Uncurl gradually. And extend the other leg out behind you. Do make sure you've got some support. Good. Staying there, getting that position technically correct. Again, remember not bunching up here. The back should be long and the head following on. Don't do anything with the neck. Gently lowering the, the back knee as long as you've got a nice support underneath it. Carpet works absolutely fine. Point the toes out at the back and sink a little further into that stretch. Well worth remembering that you can squeeze the bottom tighter here and you get a real tension contraction there. If you can maintain that, you're getting a very deep stretch throughout the legs. Holding it there for another perhaps 30 seconds if you can cope with that. So this time round, not coming all the way back up, just bring the knees in, take the hands in front of you just like this. Flat back here, widen the knees just a little bit and just lift into a cat stretch. So rounding the back, hollowing the stomach, chin to the chest and hold it there. Now, very important to keep the bottom squeezed tightly and keep that contraction in the abdominals. And come back to a flat back position. Never be tempted to get into an arch back because obviously it looks more dramatic, but it's not good for your back. It's better if we take that lovely contraction and then bring it back into a flat back. This can be done as slowly as you feel you can. Let's try one more really slowly and with a lovely big contraction in the abs. Hold it there, the neck should not be strained. And flat back. Okay, now the knees slightly further together. Stretch one leg out behind you, flex the foot. And we'll just do a few of these today, but you can actually develop this and do quite a lot of these leg lifts. If you're into sculpting those bottoms, this is a brilliant one. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Just a couple more, lift and lift. Round the back, pull it back in. Stretch the other leg out behind you. Flex the foot and you lift. There is that feeling of resistance there as you squeeze tightly at the back of the legs. The heel should be leading the movement. Lift and seven and eight. Good. And round back. Sit back on your heels. Stretch through the arms and the shoulders. The neck again should not be squeezed up into the wrong position. It should Follow the line of the spine. Now just to finish with a bit of a challenge, we take the hands forward. We're going to work our abs for the last time, but as well you're getting a little sneaky stretch thrown in. Toes behind you. This might take a bit of time to build up to this position. If you find the position itself too challenging at the moment, there's an easy option. Bring the knees down, keeping the back flat. But if you can, lift up, try and create a lovely flat line and hold it there for up to 30 seconds. And you'll feel the shakes. If you do, you need to just bring your knees down again, gently, and lift it back up when you're ready for it. When you've had enough of that, knees down, bring them back in towards the hands, relax everything else out, back into that stretch. Fingers crawling along the floor. Sit back onto your heels. Might just need to relax the shoulders after taking the strain with that last exercise. So there you have 10 minutes of some deep stretches combined with some toning for the legs. 
and it really was at a very peaceful pace. So this, of course, would be ideal if you're just getting back into exercise and you don't have to go at a frantic pace.